It took British Leyland more than 20 years to recognise the sales potential in a soft top mini. BMW hasn't made the same mistake. Less than three years after launching its Mini, there was also a convertible. And like the hardtop model, it's faithful to the spirit of Mini motoring in the swinging 60s. Happily, the live wire handling that's such a part of the Mini's appeal hasn't been lost. The convertible has the same point and squirt agility as the hatchback, but none of the rattles and shakes that afflict some roofless cars. But this comes at a price, and we don't just mean the extra £2,500 you'll have to find to buy the convertible. The stiffening built into its body adds 100 kilos, and this takes its toll on performance. All the engines seem to cope well enough though, and the Cooper S and John Cooper Works packages give the car real performance. The only engine that's not available in the convertible is the diesel. The roof is made of canvas and folds electrically in just 15 seconds. You simply push a button. Hood up or down, rearwards visibility is pretty poor, compounded by the headrests and rollover hoops behind the rear seats. Distance sensors help you avoid parking dents. In the convertible, the boot lid opens downwards, as in the original Mini. There's not much luggage space unless you fold the rear seats, but then your bags are on view to prying eyes. Legroom in the rear is too cramped for adults, especially if tall people sit in front. The dash provides a modern take on old mini themes, with a big round central speedo and a row of little toggle switches. The price increase over the hatch is steep, almost 25% more expensive with the Mini 1. Insurance rates are unreasonably high for many models too, and fuel economy is nothing to write home about. But a Mini is as close to a copper-bottomed investment as you'll get with a car, and resale values are high. You can even keep running costs down by buying the optional servicing package up front. What a great little convertible. Justifiably popular, it has all the charm and fashionable appeal of the mini convertibles built by independent companies in the 60s, but with modern quality and assembly standards. If only the roads were as empty as they were then.